All right. Good morning, everyone. Once again, I hope you are ready with this uh, for the speaking skills, in which you have to recite the poem Sea Fever. Before that. For readathon, I didn't get your entries. So, if anyone wants to read a fast, please let me know. The names are that are getting zero. Asta Bhavi. Dipanchu Geet, Harshit Himanchi, Karthik Kashish, Lavish, Nitesh Nitin Palak, Pranjal, Vidham, Ritvik, Shorya, Tejaswa Ujwal, Vebha Vashika. If anyone wants to do a readathon right now, the names that I have taken, yes, Geet, read any. Paragraph from your book, any book, any paragraph, very fast. On Sunday, I watched TV. Suddenly, I heard the people who are shooting outside, causing to know what is happening. I too rush out and, and look. I saw a big snake outside, six feet in length, and cropped a mat with sticks. All set of killet uh, with. All right, Geet. Thank you. Uh, yes, Harshit, you can go next. Just read three or four lines. Harshit, Nitesh, go next. Harshit and Nitesh, anyone of you can start. I will not give more than a minute to anyone. Ma'am, can I start? Yes, Nitesh. Ma'am, chapter 4. Okay. As Christmas near, there was an air excitement in the house as if this was going to be Unusually happy Christmas for all, all of them. Them, Joe and Laurie, their next door neighbor ran about mysteriously and could be heard laughingly beyond the. Okay, Thank you. Anyone else? Ma'am, can we read any chapter? Yes, I should. Any chapter, any book. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, so I'm starting the first chapter. Okay. Uh, long, uh, long ago, there lived a bold and uh, bold and fearless little girl in Bo in Bolaji village in Uttar Pradesh. Her parents had died when she was very young, and she lived with her relative. She loved to climb trees and swim in the river. She was okay, also a okay. Okay, okay, Arshit, that's it. They just want to go next. Is there always a happy ending to every song and our story? Some are happy and others weep. And then there are those that finish in glory. It is there a happy ending to every day? May, maybe not when you are filled with grief. And it's not stopped raining, and the sky is grey. Happy ending are made okay, by. Right. All right. Anyone else? Asta Bavi, Dipanchu, Himanshi, Karthik Kashish, Lavish, Nitin Palak, Pranjal Ridham, Sharya. Ujwal Vebha Vaishika. Any one of the names I have taken wants to do it? Geet, we have speaking skills test also right now. 
No, those who have already done me not to speak again. Yes, Pal, you have, but this was readathon for reading past. You already have done that. Ma'am, can I? Yes, Bhavi. February 19, 2018, the sky was clean. The weather was perfect. A surprise. Supersonic fighter jet. A MiG-21 Bison took off from the Janagar Air Force Station in Gujarat. Thank okay. you. Very nice, Bobby. Anyone else? Yes, Shorya, go next. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and story I could not travel both and be one traveler long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where I went in the undergrowth. All right. All right. Okay, Siddharth. Is Siddharth here? Siddharth. I recite your poem. Oh, sorry, the poem. Uh, recite, uh, narrate your story. Sorry. The story for the costume party. Please repeat. The story for the costume party that you have written. Narrate them, narrate it in the class. So that yes, ma'am. Narrate the story, but you read the story that you have sent me. You just have to read. You can read it from the pages that you have sent. There were two friends, a dragon and a rabbit. They were good friends. Rabbit liked to ride on him. They the dragon also liked the rabbit because they they play and go everywhere. One day they they want to go the their fall hill in the snow. When they go there, they fell cold. But rabbit have a lot of hair, so he was feeling not so much cool. But the dragon was feeling that he was pleased. He said, Rabbit, you should go down in the hill back to home. Rabbit said, okay, but now was now he was near to the uh, to the jungle and dragon was pleased. The rabbit wait a for a long time, but the dra dragon waiting for summer, the the dad can decrease him and take rabbit and go home. When summer came, the dragon was decreased from when he was pleased. Take, and then he take the rabbit and go, go home back. The moral of the story is if you go far from home, can tell anyone that where are you going? 
Very good, you guys. Show your props. Show your props also. Okay, my mom. Tell the names to the class. Very nice. So this was how you were supposed to do. You just have to create a story. Rabbit is in every story. Every moral story you can see a rabbit. And he has added a dragon. Excellent work Siddharth. Very excellent. Too good. All right. Yanshi, you can go next. Okay, ma'am. No, Bianch, you are not audible. Speak a little louder. Okay, ma'am. Yes, you are. Excellent one, Priyanshi. Very good. So this was how you were supposed to send me the work. Yashpal, if you could show your comic strip. Yashpal. Ma'am. But it is showing that we can't share our screen. Uh, just a minute. See now if you could share. Yes, ma'am. Share and show the class. Um, 
ma'am from starting yes yes please start ma'am this this comic is on two boys who found a treasure ma'am in mm -hmm. starting the one first boy was playing the game mm -hmm. ma'am in next scene his friend come and then ma'am we show the character from close scene Mm -hmm. And then they talk that the friend has got a treasure map from his father. Mm -hmm. Close it, and in next scene we show we have shown the map. Mm -hmm. The ma'am they talk that can we so let's we go when they are going. Then they so saw a post box that was made in their map. Mm -hmm. After that, they speak and then they show. Then they see in the map and then they go to their next place. And after that, there is a danger zone in the map. They are crossing that way. Ma'am, then they go to mountain, and then they are when they see the camp, then they see a paper on the tree, and they have to find the button to find the gold. Ma'am, mm -hmm. then they read the paper, and when They pull the paper out. Then they see a button, and when they press it, there comes a golden chest. And in last, they run because of the dog fear. Very nice. Excellent. So these were the ways I have shown you three different ways. in which you can present either comic strips or like siddhar made the props and write the dialogues or third way is like priyanshi done the role play send your send your work by today's evening no not tomorrow I should. I will. Okay, for in the class to present, I will give you time. Don't worry about that. But today is the last day to submit your work on my WhatsApp. If you do so, you will get marks. Otherwise, a simple zero. You can ask six B students. I have given zero. All right. Now let's start with the speaking skills. Anyone who has learned. Anyone who has learned the poem Sea Fever can go, can start. I mean, can go means can take the turn and start. Can I learn? Okay, so just for start, you have to switch on your cameras for reciting the poem. Yes, sir. Just for. Can you just watch the second? Sorry. Ma'am, I am. You do not have to read from the book. You have to learn and decide. Yeah, I have learned. So yeah. why are you not starting? Start reciting. What are you going to do? Shifa, you can go. You can start. I mean, okay, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. My 
My name is Shifa and today I am going to recite one poem in front of you all and the title of that poem is Sea Fever. I must go down to the seas again to the lonely sea and the sky and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by and the wheel shake and the wind song and the white sails shaking and the rain is on the sea and the bay dawn breaking. I must go down to the seas again for the call of running tide is the fire call and the clear call that may not be denied and all I ask is a windy day with white clouds flying and the flung spray and the blown spume and sea girls crying and must go down to the seas again for the to the vagrant gypsy lies to the girls play and the whales play where the wind is like a wetted night and all I ask is a with Mary Ann from Laughing Fellow Rover and a quiet sleep and a sweet dream when long trips over. Very nice. Mom, can Excellent. I start? Excellent work, Shifa. Yes, so just why you can start. Switch on your camera. Without the camera, you cannot speak the poem. I must go down to the sea again. To the lonely sea. You are reading. So that's why you are reading from the book. I am not reading from the book. Close your eyes. Put your hand on your eyes. No, I cannot see your face. Show me your face. Yes, now recite. Now put the hand. Uh, yes, yes, now recite. Lonely sea and the sky, and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by, and the well wheel kick, and the wind song, and the white sail shaking, and a grey mist on the sea face and a grey dawn breaking. I must go down to the sea again for the fall of the running tide is a wild call to a clear call that may not be denied and all I ask is a Windy day with the sky cloud flying and the flood spray and the ground from and the sea goods crying. Thank you. Very good, Tejaswa. Uh, Lavina, you can start. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Lavina, and I study in class six A. Today, I am going to today I am going to recite a okay. poem. It's mm -hmm. the name of my poem is Sea Fever. I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky, and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to see her by, and the wheels kick and the winds song and the white sails shaking and a grey mist on the sea's face and a grey dawn breaking. I must go down to the seas again to the lonely sea and sky is a wild call and a clear call of the running tide. And all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying and the flung spray and the bloom, blown plum and the seagulls crying. I must go down to the seas again, to the vagrant gypsy life, to the girls' way and the whales' way where the wind, wind is like a wetted knife. And all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover and quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long trick's over. Thank you. Good. 
Yes, Nikun, you can. Yanshi yeah, will not get a chance by speaking. Yes, Navya, that is already going on. Nikunj, recite the poem. Nikunj, you cannot read from the book. This is your speaking skills. You have to learn the poem and decide. At least learn seven, six, seven lines. This is not done. Naman said properly, Vache. You learned the poem, Naman? Uh, yes, ma'am. Recite the poem, Naman. Hi, ma'am, and my dear friends. My name is Naman. Uh, I am reading class six day, and I am going to recite a poem. The poem name is Sea Fever. I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star or steer her by. And the wheel kick and the wind is strong. And the white sail is shaking. And a grew mist on the sea face and grew a dawn breaking. I must go down to the sea again for the call of the hunting. Tide I uh, is a wild called and a clear call that might not be dined. Then I the, and call I ask in windy day with the white clouds flying and the flood spray and the blow supreme and the sea gulls crying. Thank you. Very good, Naman. Yeshpal, you can start. Okay, ma'am. You have to, yes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Yashpal Yadav, and today I am here to represent a poem. The poem title is Sea Fever. I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea and the sky, and all I ask is tall ship, a star to steer her by and the wheels kick and the wind song and the white sail shaking and a gray mist sea face and a gray dawn breaking i must go down to the seas again for the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be Dying. And all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying and the flung spray and the blown sperm and the sea girls crying. I must go down to the seas again to the vagrant gypsy life. To the girls' way and the whales' way, where the wild, where the winds like a wetted night, and all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover, and quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the log breaks over. Thank you. Very good. Yes, actually, you can decide next. Good morning, my teachers and dear friends. I am Lakshya of Class 16 and I am going to recite the poem. The poem name is Sea Fever. I must go down to the seas again to the lonely sea and the sky. I ask the tall ship and just start to steer her by. And the wheels kick and the wheels and the wings song and the white shell shaking and the grey mist on the sea's face and the grey down breaking. I must go down to the seas again for the call of the running tide. Is a white call and a clear call that may be not be denied. 
and all i ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying and the uh, flung spray and the bloom scream and the seagulls crying i must go down to the seas again to the uh, vagnant this be life to the gulf way and the waves where where the wind like a uh, written knife ma'am that's it very good lakshya not an issue good navya you can go next Good morning, teachers and my dear classmates. Uh, my um, poem name is The Little Doll. I I once had uh, no. I once had a sweet little doll, the prettiest oh, doll Navya? in the world. Navya, yes, we are ma doing the poem recitation, and you have to just recite Sea Fever. Nothing else. What, ma'am? We just have to recite the poem "Sea Fever." You cannot recite any other poem. Learn "Sea Fever." Yes, Priyanshi. Good morning, everyone. My name is Priyanshi. Today, I recite the poem "Sea Fever." I am so down. And all I ask is a doll ship and the stars who sweep her by, and the wheels take and the wind song and the white sails shaking and the grey leaves fades and the grey dawn breaking. I must go down to the streets again for the call of running tide. It's a white call and the gun, clear call that might not be the night. And that's it. All right. Uh, yes, Harshad, you can recite the poem. I told you, minimum six lines you have to learn, at least, if not the whole poem. Good yes, morning, ma'am. I am Ash. Uh, good morning, ma'am. This is Ashut of Class Six. They will recite the poem. See, see. Uh, uh, fever. I must go down to the sea again, to the to the lo lonely sea and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. And the wheel, uh, and the wheel neck, and the wind song, and the white sail shaking, and a grey mist on the sea face, and a grey dawn breaking. I must go down to the sea again for the A uh, call of the running tide is a wind call and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day, windy day, with the white clouds flying and the um, flowing spray and the blow, um, blown spume and the sea girls crying. I must go down to the sea again to the virgin crispy life. To the gulls, to the gul gulls' way, uh, and the whales' way. There the wind like a, there the wind like a weighted knife. And all I ask a merry yarn for a laughing fellow rover, and and quiet sleep and a sweet dream when long streaks over. Thank you. Very good. Anyone else who has learned the poem and wants to recite? Tomorrow, Vachin, there will be no option. Everyone has to recite. Eight people have recited out of forty-five. By tomorrow, learn the poem and recite. Otherwise, a big zero. Yes, Shauri, you can recite. My name is Shauri. I am of class six. Shauri, you have to switch on the camera. Without the cameras, you cannot recite. Uh, yes, sir. My name is Shorya. I am of class six A. I am here to recite a poem, Sea Fever. I must go down, go down to the seas again, to the seas, 
to the lonely sea and sky and all i ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by and the wheels kick and the wind song and a white sail shaking and gray mist on the sea face and the gray dawn breaking i must go down go down to the seas again for the call of running tide is a wild call and a clear call they may not be denied and all i ask is a windy day and with the white clouds flying and the flung spray and the blown spume and the seagulls crying i must go down go down to the seas again to the vagrant gypsy life to the girls way and the whales way where the winds like a wet and knife and all i ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover and a quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long tricks over and the poet of the poem is john masfield very nice thank you everyone be prepared for tomorrow since the time is over the class is going to end any time fine learn the poem and recite it tomorrow bye everyone bye ma'am bye ma'am